A salt is an ionic compound that results from an acid-base reaction. If we recall, an acid plus a base reacts to give a salt plus water. Salts are what we're going to focus on in this video. Salts are strong electrolytes that completely ionize in water and they often affect the pH of a solution. The pH of a salt solution can be either neutral, acidic, or basic. And what will happen is the salt will react with water and when it splits apart, it's going to split apart into a negatively charged ion and a positively charged ion, its cation and its anion. The process in which salt reacts with water is called salt hydrolysis. The first type of salts that we're going to talk about are ones that form neutral solutions. These salts consist of cations and anions from strong bases and strong acids. That means that no salt hydrolysis actually occurs. So for example, NaCl, if we take this salt and dissolve it in water, then it would form Na plus, Aq plus Cl minus Aq. So neither of these um, ions will react with water. Similarly for KBr or NaNO3. So KBr is going to break down into K plus, Br minus, and NaNO3 is going to break down into Na plus and NO3 minus. All of these ions do not react with water. That means that their salts are neutral um, and they will have a pH of about 7. Salts that form acidic solutions consist of anions from strong acids and cations from weak bases. If we look at the example Na NH4Cl and we dissolve this in water, then that will ionize to NH4 plus plus Cl minus. The Cl minus or the anion is from a strong acid. So this ion is not going to react further with water. However, the NH4 plus is actually a very weak Bronsted-Lowry base and it does react with water. And when it does so, it's going to establish an equilibrium. So plus water is going to give us NH3 plus H3O plus. So because this anion produces hydronium ions, the solution is going to be acidic. And so we would say that this salt, NH4Cl, is a salt that can form acidic solutions. Salts that form basic solutions are basically the opposite of the last scenario. They consist of anions from weak acids and cations from strong bases. An example would be NaCH3COO. If we dissolve this in water, it's going to ionize to Na plus, plus CH3, COO minus. The Na plus is derived from a strong base. This is not going to further react with water. However, the CH3, COO minus is a... Um, is an anion from a weak acid, so that is going to react with water to establish an equilibrium. That will produce CH3, COOH, plus OH minus. Because it produces OH minus, we would say it's a salt that forms basic solutions.
The last types of salts are ones that act as acids and bases. These consist of anions from weak acids and cations from weak bases. In the example here, NH4CN is going to break down into NH4 plus, plus CN minus. Both of these are now going to react with water and establish equilibriums. So they will be salts that act as both acids and bases.